All right, it's Monday morning. Feeling a bit tired, but excited. Let's get to it. So when I was starting out, I was thinking, all right, what am I gonna make? I've got two days, that seems like enough time, but I don't wanna make it too crazy. What about a simple game with two rooms and some skeleton archers and some zombies and a player? All you have to do is attack the enemies, you know, maybe make some cool animations. That should be pretty easy, right? So I spent the first few hours just setting up the renderer and getting the sprites working. Anyway, I'll skip through all of the programming stuff, although it is all programming. But uh, at about the four and a half hour mark, I finally got sprites rendering on the screen, which is pretty nice. Hopefully in the future that'll be much, much quicker. Then it was time to look up some uh, pixel art tutorials and try my hand. I made a very, very bad looking skeleton. I made some horrible looking player characters. And then I made an okay looking skeleton a bit later. I also made this guy who looks like a cookie man. I didn't end up using him. By about six hours in, we had player movement. Uh, the player couldn't walk outside of the screen. And also a death condition, which is if you walked into an enemy, it did damage to you and you died. And we also had a skeleton, two random buttons and a player all rendering. So that's pretty cool. Sometime later, I drew some lovely arrows for my skeleton archer to be shooting and stuck them in the game. I then went ahead and recorded this uh, little message. At All right, it's now 5.30 p.m. I've been working since about 10.30, but somehow I've only recorded four and a half hours of footage. Does that mean I wasted like three hours? I don't remember wasting three hours. I didn't open Reddit. I didn't open Steam. Didn't open Discord. Uh, didn't open YouTube. I don't know what's going on, but somehow it's been uh, ages. Anyway, I finally got sprites rendering in the game. That's not even a game. It's just rendering sprites on the screen. So that's kind of cool. So far, I don't know if I can recommend not using an engine, but we'll see what happens over the next, well, tonight and tomorrow. All right, it is about 12.30 a.m. on the first day. Well, it's the second day now, I suppose. And I'm pretty happy with the progress, actually. We've got about 300 and something lines of code here, uh, which doesn't seem like much. 362 plus a couple of helper files. And the game looks like this. Uh, not great, but you know, it's something. It's actually better than I thought I'd get up to in this short amount of time. So I think the overall time has been, I mean, in real time, it's been about 14 hours, uh, but I don't know, somehow a lot of that time got wasted, probably like eating and doing other things, I don't know. Anyway, this is what we got so far. Um, I think for tomorrow, I'm gonna be adding in a dodge, making the arrows actually turn and face you, maybe making the skeletons move or adding another enemy like a zombie. Uh, that's one idea, the zombie chases you around slowly, the skeletons just shoot you from range, and then giving you some way of attacking the enemies back. Now these buttons down here were never intended to do anything, but uh, just to test out sprites. So I'm probably just gonna remove them. And if I get enough time, I'd like to add some sound effects and a couple of rooms, and then just work on making it feel a bit nice, I guess. So I'm gonna head to bed and I'll pick this up in the morning. All right, it's now day two. Unfortunately, I slept in until about 1 p.m. So it's now 1.30, just had a shower. We've got to get the game done and make the video about it before the end of the day. So wish me luck. 
Now, sadly, the second day did not go very well. Okay, so here we are at the end of the jam. This is the final result. I can't say I'm particularly happy, but I'm not unhappy. Um, we didn't get to put in sound. We didn't get the second enemy in. The animations are not great. Let me just jump over here. So the sword doesn't actually appear until you start walking. The attack animation is very bad. So I think I definitely need to work on my art. The skeletons look... Well, whatever. The gameplay is uninspiring. I'm very self-critical right now, but uh, I am just happy that I have something to show on the screen after really, it's more like one and a half days because my second day, I had to go do a bunch of grocery shopping, run some errands, um, do some other things, some cleaning. So I didn't get that much time today, but I think overall, I would definitely recommend doing something like this yourself. Just two day game jam. This one isn't actually um, any official game jam. However, in four days, there's two game jams starting that I want to join. One of them goes for two days and it's the uh, Game Makers Toolkit game jam, which is very popular. And sorry, does it go for four days? It goes for two days. Yeah. And the other one is uh, let me just look it up one sec. All right, this is the other one. So it's by 8-Bits to Infinity, who I don't know. Someone named Joshua McLean. There seems to be a few people. It's not really popular, but it's not unpopular. And a theme, well, I don't know the theme yet, but the whole thing is you have to build a turn-based game and you have a month. So I'm thinking that I'm going to take the tactics game that I was planning on building with the engine that we're making in the engine series. And then actually build the tactics game in this game jam and just see how we go so that's going to be interesting now there are some rules here which we've got to take into account um we're not allowed to you know have a bunch of pre-built things of course uh, the idea being pre-meditated i think is totally fine However, we can have some general purpose code, character controller, project, template, menu, functionality, and AI library. That's a lot of stuff that you've allowed. So I think what I'm gonna do over the next couple of days, um, so yeah, one sec. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to build up uh, a couple of general purpose uh, function libraries for C for like loading sprites, maybe for managing entities or maybe for showing menus and stuff like that. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy. None of it will be gameplay, just kind of some generic things. I'll share it all with you guys, of course. And then in future game jams, I can use this as sort of starting base rather than full blown engine or rather than starting completely from scratch like I did this time. Anyway. That's all for this, and uh, I gotta go do something with my cat apparently, so catch you in the next one.